gon' tell me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invader it's your boy Noto coming to you another video, coming to you another podcast, man. Today's podcast, we're going to discuss body game. Women will make their move on you. If you're new here or you're already been going to click that like button, go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this topic, man. Bro, when you practice in the body game, I'm telling you, bro, they're going to find so many ways to get into your vicinity. They're going to find so many ways to get your attention, bro. Like, I was coming off the elevator, right? I had on, like, my tight red shirt. Y'all probably seen me in the video wearing my, like, tight red shirt. I got it from Walmart, like, seven bucks or whatever, right? So, I had that on. I had to just clock out, so I had to took my cloak off because my cloak kind of pretty much had my physique because it's, like, it fits me. It's, like, a real loose fit. So, I take it off when I went to go clock out and turn my walk in and my keys in, right? So I'm coming off the elevator. She uh this girl I'm holding the elevator from, she was like, Oh my god, I really, really like your shirt. And I was like, and her mama, I could tell, like it was like this white girl, but she was thick as hell, but I could tell her mama was kind of like on some like it almost seemed like she was on some racist shit. She was trying to like walk off type, you know what I'm saying, trying to like pay me no mind. But she's like, Well, I really, really like your shirt. What's your name? Where you from? So I was like, Oh dang, you know, told her my name, told her where I was from and all that stuff. She had to gave me an IG, her mama sitting in the corner looking like like you know stink facing and stuff like that so i'm like all right yeah i appreciate that but now i want uh i don't want to like appreciate that but i was like shit i walked off you know what i'm saying it's like i peeled off and like you know let the elevator close after that because we held the elevator or whatever she held that bitch get my instagram and all that so but anyway i walked off when i walked off from the elevator i'm thinking like bro this ain't nothing but a seven dollar walmart shirt you know the gilded and shirts that you get over there in the, in the section like they come in red dark blue uh black or whatever it is i was like she ain't like the damn shirt it wasn't nothing special about the shirt it's about it was something it was everything was special about how the shirt was fitting on me like if you go back and look at my video i had on the red shirt it was like uh i think it was body game uh um i, I forgot what what video it was per se but i had on the red shirt and it's something just like that it looked like i work at target but it's a small to fit on and I'm like, it ain't nothing special about this shirt per se. But it's, it, she like, she don't like the shirt. She like how I look in the shirt. That's how I'm looking at. Like, you see, like what I look like in the shirt. So I'm like, bro, move, women will make they move on you, bro. It just is what it is. They'll find some try to kind of like sidebar way to come at you every time, bro. Every time, bro. It was another instance, bro. Like we was walking off, right? Uh, I was walking down the sidewalk. Women was with her man. Like I'm talking about. It's always I always catch these scenarios when they be with their family and everything else, but when all them rock past it was like the man the son like two sons and like a baby in the stroller like one of the kids was pissing the baby in the stroller or some shit like that she kind of gave me that you know a up look like she was thick as a hell she and i could tell she was like duh because she didn't really want to be there it almost tell it, it looked like she was being dragged along just to keep it a buck and then she like she was doing this family thing just to keep everything together type if you ever seen that type of uh woman she just be out and it don't even look like she into the whole function she don't like she into the whole thing she's like she just dealt for the kids type deal and you know that's the just to make things work it, it looked like one of them points in time but when she saw me she was like she gave me like the one of the biggest looks of lust bro like gave me that you know what's up look like she like looked me up and down and did all that she made sure everybody was passed before she did that so i'm like bro women will make their move bro and and, and and in some instances they will do it right in front of their man bro and as they get to the point where they just so bold they don't care but some of them they'll sneak and do it when they in no type of situations they will definitely sneak and do it bro and they'll just make their move blatantly blatantly on you bro it's just crazy when you practice in the body game you gotta understand that you you tapping into their primal nature you understand that you actually looking like a man to them you, you you're you turning them on to a certain extent because whatever body type you are that's another thing too whatever body type you are just get to the best version that you can you ain't got to be peeled jack look at me i'm not the most peeled person i'm i'm, I'm finna be peeled i ain't finna cap to you but i ain't the most like peeled and i'm not the most uh lean guy out there but i got some muscle mass i got you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm working with what i got you see what i'm saying so i'm going i went out the day just like this i went around like the little the tourist spot bro i'm breaking necks over there like cougars uh girls with they went with they men all kind of stuff groups of women all kind of stuff bro this is, is is what it is even women with like in the group and they got racist friends they still checking me out and they don't even care bro it's getting to the point where like it's starting to transcend racism because you know because it'd be like up here when you up north like this is a uh, racism plays a big part in a lot of this stuff so 
so they didn't even give a damn bro she saw what she liked and bro she was checking me out and she came and get my i got a, i got a couple ig's on the way over here bro i got a couple, like on the way to even bring this stand over here to make this video i got a couple ig's because i came from well uh from where the uh the volcano uh geyser site over there where they all be sitting at so i got a couple ig's on the way here but man i'm telling you bro they don't give a damn even when they friends races but that's it transcend that they don't even care bro like a lot of them will try to leave you alone because they feel like their friends uh judge them or something like that. that that's how that's the way it is up here so by default they'll leave you alone but i noticed when i catch them alone they'll be like i always wanted to talk to you they always want to talk to you i had a chick the other night she wanted to come by like she about to leave she about to go to another like resort to go work out and stuff like that so she was like before she leaves she was like i gotta have you i wanted you i've been wanting you like i love how your arms look i love how your, your chest look i love everything about you so, you know type type deal like it's like she been wanting to get at me but she just she felt like I ain't making them all like matters. You know, it was just some other shit. Like it was a whole lot of other stuff too. Off the strength too, cause my, one of my homies was trying to talk to her too, but she ain't really fucking with him like that. So you know, off the strength of that, I was trying to leave that alone too, cause I mean, she looked good to me. But I don't like stepping on niggas' toes. So I, I, don't, I ain't that type of nigga. I ain't, I ain't one of them niggas. You see him? You see what I'm saying? So like when um i see my homie checking out the girl i just i kind of fell back but she was like i ain't fucking with him no more you know what i'm saying Ain't we don't need to talk no more so i was like okay after strength of that i was like okay i'll fuck with it you know what i'm saying like long as i know that they cut it off and i don't see him hanging out another that shit no more or whatever so i was like okay cool so shorty peel back right i hadn't said hey you just gonna meet in the room or whatever just come and knock at the door i told him a room number i said she just come knock at the door or whatever right i'm in that bitch waiting she came and knocked at the door, bro, and like gave me the best time. I'm like, I'm talking about the A1 head, the A1, A1 sex, every, everything. I'm talking about you, you would have thought that she, bro, she it's almost like she was trying to audition for a porn edition. I'm talking about the head was so immaculate, bro. I'm talking about it was it was off the charts. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. The shit was off the fucking charts, bro. I'm like, bro. She was like, I've been waiting for something like this. I've been waiting for, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of scrubs up here. and ain't really no, no real niggas up here. You know what I'm saying? We up north. It ain't, and then we, in this type of environment, it ain't too many niggas out here like me. So I'm just going to keep it a buck. And that's not even being on some, uh, that ain't even been on some pompous bullshit. This, this ain't been on no showing out shit. It just is what it, it is, is the way it is. I'm kind of like a minority, even in, in two or more, and in more than one way. Not just being black, but actually being black and looking like this as well. It ain't too many niggas at all. That look like me. In fact, I'm, I'm about one, and if, if if I'm damn near about the only one that look like he's about two others that I feel like up to my caliber. I'm just gonna keep it a buck, body game wise, and like being able to get girls wise and shit like that. But it ain't really, it, it ain't plentiful out here like that. So she was like, damn, I've been looking for something like that, and I've been like, you know what I'm saying? Like she she really went with that, but she was leaving the next day, so she wanted to come by pretty much get me get some and dip off before she let she like she just had to have me so that's what it'll do bro like when a woman really like feeling you bro and it's not even just your face it could be the vibe or two but at the end of the day she still got to look at you still got to like what she see and she said she been checking me out and the friends that she be sitting at the tables with guess what she gonna end up telling them that shit so when she peel off they already see they already looking at me already because she already know i didn't tore that shit up anyway so she already didn't told them pretty much Cause they smirking at me and looking at me like that when we in the cafeteria and shit. So all right, okay, I, I see what's going down, you know. So she probably didn't left a good word, put in a good word for me, or whatever. So that, that's another thing too. You end up getting a mouthpiece. So just to get back on subject, I just wanted to give y'all a little story or whatever because you gonna have little shindigs like that. You gonna have chicks just walk up, especially like if you like usually like dry like dressing, you covered up and you ain't dressing like you want to show anything off. But the moment you actually like show some skin, like wear a tank top or show something that show off your physique or something, bro. Bro, you gonna have bitches coming out the woodworks. You gonna have them coming out like thinking like, dang, I, I, I really wish I want like I got I got something that's like, bro, that's surprising me. Like, it was this fucking Slovakian, like, what is it? Slovakian chick, bro? Oh my, bro, she's so fucking bad, bro. And she just came up, she like, oh my god, I like how you look, like, like, like real shit. Come up, tell me, oh, I like how you look, feeling them arms, grabbing them arms. This shit happened earlier today. That's the one of the IGs I got early. Slovakian shit. I'm talking about, bro. The way I don't know, it's her accent. The way she talked, you a damn near bus fit from here. And the way she talked, bro, she got the fucking accent of the gods out this bitch, like, bro like she could damn that talk to me and i'm gonna be like doing type shit you know what i'm saying that should have you going but i'm just, I'm just bro 
I'm telling you right now, bro. Practice in the body game. Practice the body. I don't know why guys want to neglect that. You got to understand. Women want to look at you. They have to get under the body. The body is what is touching them, grabbing them, holding them when they are getting ready. Let me get this damn flat away. But the body is what's holding them and that's what's uh keep that's what that's turning them on, bro. You gotta understand. They gotta get under that. They have to hold on to that. The body is what attracts the woman. Is what like this what attracts us to women. You gotta understand that. So that's why they gonna make they move on you, bro. They gonna they gonna come out the woodworks like they coming out with me, bro. I'm like, bro, I, it's women that I thought that I ain't even like me, bro. Women that I thought was racist, bro. I helped this one chick. Like I meant to tell you, she was holding rags, right? She had like these big ass. She had to carry to the restaurant. She had a big ass like white bag full of like big ass like white rags. I guess going to the uh, restaurant. It's a kind of upscale restaurant or the hotel I work at. So. She was carrying them. I was like, man, this lady can't carry this shit over here. So I went over there and grabbed them, right? And it's the same lady that was always like looking like scaring at me, scaring at me. Bro, I'm talking about when I grabbed them rags, bro, she had the biggest smile on her face, bro. And she was like, oh my God, I appreciate you for helping me. And oh, I really like men with muscles. I didn't even know you was that big. Oh my goodness. And she was like gripping on me. I'm talking about, she was like, bro, giving me compliments the whole way back there. But she was like, bro, oh my God. So you got to, because you, I love men with muscles. Oh my God, I love men with muscles so much. Oh, it's you telling me, look at my man. He got these big old muscles he helping me oh my goodness he's my savior shit like that I mean, i'm talking about bro. she was going over the board she was going overboard with this shit i'm like god damn like this shit was only like 60 paces like from the elevator to the restaurant bro i'm talking about she over there be flat bragging and flying like she got like like she got like a old man or something like that bro like ever since then they've been straight smiles bro she I, this is a chick that i thought was racist bro i really literally legit thought this lady was racist because she was exhibiting all the characteristics but when it came to all that and sometimes a simple gesture like that just getting any vicinity you never know they might be intimidated by you she might feel some type of way about you you understand i'm a black man with tattoos that ain't very that ain't very common up here so you never know they might have some type of uh stereotype or whatever too but all that shit changed bro all that bro it's like it gets to the point where she probably gonna end up putting down on it like you see what i'm saying i be having chicks like we got like a little pub area they be walking up talking about something oh you want to come hang out with me later oh i'm getting these texts out of nowhere i'm talking about like out of nowhere bro talking about something. you want to come by later or shit like that give me their numbers yet bro i'm talking about they gonna make they fucking move bro because when i be up in there i always wearing something that's hugging i'm always wearing something that's exhibiting my physique because one that's this one of my strong points i work on my physique i'm gonna show my damn physique that's what you guys gotta do show your physique bro understand don't don't, don't try to cover up don't try to wear stuff that don't really show your physique in the best light bro show your shit in the best light and just see who come bro you you'll be surprised bro i'm telling you it, it be sometimes it be the chicks that you don't even think won't you won't come up to you bro that shit happened to me all bro this shit that happened to me all week bro three or four chicks i thought wouldn't even look my way bro they all on the nigga they seen a nigga with a, with a uh tank top on they see me with the tight shirt on and all that they usually see me in my work clothes because they can't really see nothing all they can see is this regular shit and my work clothes like three times bigger i'm waiting on a new uniform because my shit just cover everything up it don't even look like i work out and i look fat in my uniform to be honest with you but when they see me take that shit off when i'm in the cafeteria and all that other shit everything changes bro i got bitches plotting on me right now bro they definitely plotting on me and they gonna make they move bro and you never know they'll sit back for a while before they make their move so don't ever just cancel chicks out and i was thinking about like man fuck these just you know what i'm saying because they'll treat you a certain type of way like that lady bro it's another like like the chicks that I didn't think that even liked me at all, bro, walked up on me like the one that uh, I said that came into the room that wanted to get me before she left. Bro, she was one of them chicks that were acting like she ain't fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? So, bro, I'm telling you, bro, body game speaks, bro. And the first thing she complimented was my body. I'm not, bro. Like I said, dude, I'm, I, I'm, am I the most ripped looking guy? I'm not the most ripped. But look, I ain't no average motherfucking Joe, bro. I work. I fucking work, bro. I ain't no average motherfucking joke. And you don't got to be the most cut and most lean motherfucker. You can be. I'm just going to do it just to see what it's going to do for me. You know what I'm saying? I want to see like, I want to see what my body look like when I get to that. I want to challenge myself. Because the thing is, when you're doing this, guys, too, when you're going to the body game, practicing the body game, it can't just be for winning. It can be, it can be a motivation, but don't, don't make it solely about that. You see what I'm saying? Because for me, if it was solely about women, I would give it up a long time ago because I'm already fucking the women. I'm already smashing the women that I want to smash right now. I'm not having a big problem doing that, but I'm noticing as I'm dialing stuff down and as I'm getting more cuts and stuff like that, bro, stuff is starting to change as well. So, hey, it's another avenue for me as well. But like if I wanted to be complacent, it'd be like, oh, shit, I mean, I can stay where I'm at at a higher back body, body fat percentage and I'm still hitting the chicks that I want. I really could. I really could stay here and be happy fucking the chicks that I'm already fucking and that i was already fucking 20 pounds ago as well you see what i'm saying it wasn't a big problem for them they liked the way i was too so being heavier on the heavier end was never like a big detriment to me 
You see what I'm saying? So that when guys be like, oh, you got to get chills, you got to get cut, bro. I be looking at him like, bro, I'm not having no problems fucking the same chicks when I'm net size, bro. Like, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. A lot of guys, I don't know if y'all don't believe, I don't know what it, I, bro. I, I ain't got, I ain't got shit to cap about. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I ain't got shit to cap about. When I was bigger, bro, I was hitting petite chicks, dancer chicks. When I was bigger, bro, I was like 40, 40, 50 pounds bigger than I am now, hitting those type of chicks, but I was still jacked. You see what I'm saying? Like Vikings, Vikings are not the most cut people. Uh, you got um firemen and shit like that they make they move on them all the time well I like a man in uniform it ain't just the uniform it's how the uniform fit on them it ain't about the damn uniform the uniform is just the gateway for them to get their ass over there and talk and it's just a, a good fantasy for them oh i want to fuck a fireman with his uniform on a policeman or whatever it's not a, the uniform itself it's how the uniform looks on you I guarantee that she complimented me earlier like i told you earlier she complimented me on my red shirt it's a eight dollar seven dollar walmart shirt Bro, the Gildan, you know that little whatever that is, that that brand or whatever. It wasn't nothing but a nice plain Jane shirt. It fit on me, it held my sleeves, it, it fit me, grabbed my chest and everything. And bro, like she told me, so, oh, I really, really like your shirt. No, you didn't like the damn shirt. You like how the shirt fit on. So I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna make they move on you, bro. And bro, work on the body game. The body game is life, bro. The body game is the cheat code, bro. I'm telling you, do not neglect that. That can transcend even just your regular looks. If you ain't got a good looking face, bro, I'm telling you right now, bro, you ain't got to have no big, good looking face when you got the body, bro. I'm telling you, they will overlook that for the body, especially But you all probably gonna have to do a lot more work. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. The ones that probably got a jacked up face, you're gonna have to get that shit dialed in. That shit gonna have to be tight. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, you, you can't probably pull the big man game and you got like a jacked up face. You probably gonna have to really get that shit tight. Now, that's the exception. I ain't gonna lie, but hey, it's worth the trade off. And at least you still got a chance because they got something called an ugly sexy player. Shout out to Cousin Tita. Hey, and shout out to Ron Wills for the whole body game for uh, philosophy. But anyway, it's your boy Noto. Come to you another video. Come to you another podcast, man. If you're enjoying the content, go on and click that like button. Go on and comment. Go on and subscribe. subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves, they wouldn't work at it. I'm out. I'm chilling. I really ain't worried about niggas. I promise I keep it a coon and Even though niggas be looking and sounding like me, that boy Morris said I'm not the father. Swear I'm a dog, I get vicious. When I'm irritated, I might need a shock on my collar. Don't got a filter, just keep it straightforward. I play my position, Andre Iguodala. Ain't no exposing me. I get in D, hit an ovary. Don't even go down that road. With me. And if a chicken obsessed, I don't need it. I want that Miss Parker with Professor Ogilvy. Bitch ain't no testing me. None of these bitches be stressing me. Capping like they got the best of me. Let if she go off and get with another man, really, she still gonna be thinking about sexing me. Done with these bitches, let's get to the paper. One piece of the pie, sell out on the mirror. Chasing that money, cause the road runner ain't doing no talking, just like Tom and Jerry. Ain't no beef or no drama, it won't make no money to me, it's just unnecessary. But if I'm pushed, I'm gonna have to crash out on a nigga, and then I'ma call up as Gary.